I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic, and today I am going to do a guided reading on Hope Hicks. So when I do these readings, I don't um, shuffle the cards and pick the cards out. I um, ask my uh, spirit guides to show me them psychically, and then I ask them why we chose those cards, or why they picked them out. So <laughs> I wanted to read a little bit about Hope Hicks. From Wikipedia before I started just to give us a little bit of background because uh, we know that she's agreed to testify as far, as far as I know that's still on in front of the house um, Hope Charlotte Hicks born October 21st 1988 is an American public relations consultant who served as White House communications director for President Donald Trump from August 2017 until March 29th, 2018. From January to September 2017, she was the White House Director of Strategic Communications, a former model. Hicks was an employee of the Trump Organization before becoming Press Secret Secretary and Early Communications Director for the Trump 2016 presidential campaign, as well as the National Press Secretary for the presidential transaction team. She was Trump's longest serving political aide at the time of her resignation. On February 27th, 2018, Hicks testified to a congressional committee that she had told white lies, and that's quote unquote, on Trump's behalf. The next day, Hicks announced her intention to resign as White House communications director. She left the White House a month later. In 2019, she began working for Fox Corporation as its chief communications officer and executive vice president. There we go. So the um, uh, subject card that my guides chose for her was the tower. Surprise, surprise. You know, they, all these um, Trump uh, people uh, get this card people connected with Trump, loyalists to Trump, or people have been, um, you know, have, who, who've served uh, uh, in his administration or, or who, the few that are still serving. Um, so when I asked, well, why for Hope Hicks did you choose the tower? My guide said, um, uh, this um, relates to the Mueller report. Um, and other investigations, what it, it's referring to what Hope Hicks knows and it, um, its impact on the Trump administration. The above card, Two of Wands. So uh, this depicts um, in, the, in this card really, um, uh, really literally a, a, a crossroads, a choice. So my guide said that um, uh, in this case, uh, Hope Hicks is torn between two conflicting impulses. On one hand, she wants to protect President Trump um, and also the perks that go along with being a Trump loyalist, uh, i.e. becoming an executive vice president at the ripe old age of um, uh, uh, 30. <laughs> uh, um, so um, my guides elaborated that she's not qualified for this job. I mean, it's not that another person of the same age might be, but Hope Hicks, they say, is not. Um, and this position was created as like a, a, a giveaway, a, 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 like her, her, they showed me like her position and her office is like cardboard cutouts or like a you know, like a, like a movie, uh, a set not you know, it's, it's just there, um, for, um, uh, surface value and, you know, the salary, uh, there's no validity to them. Um, so, but she does have value for Rupert, Rupert Murdoch, who, um, owns the, that corporation. Um, and she's, uh, or she acts as a bridge between Murdoch and Trump. She's like a conveyor of communication. She's a, you know, connection influence. That's, that's her value. Um, 
so uh, that's that path. <laughs> the other the other choice is to stay out of federal prison. Um, because she knows uh, she has committed crimes, uh, and there are potential crimes regarding uh, or related to perjury, and also complicit in covering up or destroying presidential documents uh, and other potential evidence. So, sorry, <laughs> got an itch. The um, recent past. Um, that relates to uh, the Trump administration, that all the backstabbing and the um, backbiting um, that is uh, uh, pr present in, uh, in in his administration and amongst the people related to him, his family actually, his family as well, um, and my guides say that uh, Trump. Uh, creates this dynamic. He enjoys it. Uh, he likes seeing people fighting. I think that's been reported on several times. Um, but the, there's a function to it, which is that you know, we'll, while everybody is fighting amongst themselves, he maintains control, uh, he, and he always is the the one that they're all looking for for approval, and um, you know, the the one who can. Uh, um, open doors for them, the one they're dependent on. He he maintains, he creates, and maintains a dependency. And but the other part of that they say is also, um, you know, the whole rats jumping ship thing, uh, the fear, um, and um, d distrust people are having um, towards each other because of the uh, the investigations and you know who's testified who said what to whom you know who nobody's really quite trusting anybody the below card the devil surprise surprise again popping up in every reading uh, so this is Trump my guides say this is Trump uh, 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 in you know at the bottom of everything everything it's like you know that this card's also often you know Putin to everything comes back to Trump or Putin and so my guides say that um, uh, Hope Hicks is obsessing about Trump right now you know what she's going to say what's going to come out and how that it's going to potentially going to affect her relationship with Trump and not just with Trump but with everything um, around Trump, like you know the doors that it opens for her, uh, the you know power, money, and influence that she receives because of her connection with Trump. In the near future, the Hierophant, and so my guides say this is um, represents Hope Hicks testifying. Um, in the house, in front of the house. The clarifying card is the Seven of Pentacles. So my guides say uh, that um, this is Hope Hicks knowing where the bodies are buried. So she knows, you know, she's she knows probably as much as or more than anybody else who's been connected with Trump regarding, you know, the shady stuff, what's going on behind the scenes. So she's a very valuable um, uh, um, witness. Um, but the, the other meaning of this card that uh, my guides um, uh, remind me of is um, what we sow we shall reap, <laughs> or we reap what we have sown. And that's direct karma. And with Hope Hicks, it would be direct karma related to her relationship with Trump. And the outcome card is the Ten of Swords. So my guides told me that this card means 
uh, because of Hope Hicks' testimony uh, that she loses everything. It's devastation for her because all those doors that opened for her shut and uh, that she is discarded by Trump and whoever else is um, within Trump's sphere of influence. And this is her worst fear. So that was my reading on Hope Hicks. Um, I don't know, it came to my mind before, just before I did this reading that, why didn't she just run for Miss America? <laughs> She looks like Miss America. She's beautiful and well-spoken and, you know, she probably could get up there and say something, I don't know, superficial and <laughs> maybe point a little poignant or something about helping, but I don't know. <laughs> no, it'd be ironic if, you know, they said, you know, um, would you want to help the children of the world or something? Because obviously, you know, her relationship with Trump and, and, and what um, Trump and his administration are doing to children right now. But uh, she looks like um, a Miss America to me. I don't mean, uh, you know, to, to be sexist or in any way derogatory even of Miss America, but that would have been kind of her perfect, um, you know, role. <laughs> but a vice president of a corporation? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't see it. So my guides wanted me to, uh, and actually I, I, I believe I asked them, uh, you know, could we have a card? And they wanted to give us a card. So the card that they gave us is, uh, huh, where did it go? Um, oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> the card that they gave us was from the Messenger Oracle deck by Ravine um, Falan. And this card, wash away your burdens. I will read the meaning of that card. Wash away your burdens. As you have moved through life, you have undoubtedly experienced moments that have inspired feelings of regret, remorse, shame and guilt. You have made promises you have not been able to keep. You have judged and blamed yourself and others. You have burdened yourself with feelings born of acts that cannot be undone, which still bind you to the past. It is time to forgive. It is time to lie down in the healing waters and let them wash away your burdens as you can move forward with spirit cleansed. I think that's a beautiful card. <laughs> I won't espouse on it like I do in the others. I think that pretty much says it all. So today is June the 15th, 2019. It is a Saturday. Um, we've had really cold, and inclement weather uh, in Michigan, I think all over the east, co uh, the, or the eastern part of, uh, maybe the Midwest, eastern part of the United States. Um, it's in like 65, 66 or something. It's been raining so much. Um, so it makes me want to work indoors, but maybe the sun will come out a little later and I'll, I'll get out there. It is beautiful though. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the solstice is coming up, right? Next week. Haha, <laughs> maybe I'll do a special solstice reading. I'll, I'll see if I have time. Uh, if not, then I'll kind of delay it for the weekend, but I'll, I'll do something solstice -y. Um, So take care. I will be reading for you in the near future. I wanted to let people know that I do personal readings. I can read past lives. Uh, also, um, present, uh, past, future related to this life, what's coming up. Um, 
and also uh, I can uh, help you communicate with those that uh, have passed on. And I uh, can also help you um, uh, meet your guardian angels, and I love to introduce people to their guardian angels. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to leave uh, my information below um, that will let you know how to contact with me. Um, <laughs> I mean connect with me, sorry. And uh, also, um, if you enjoyed this reading, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Take care. Till next time.